Welcome to Business Automated. Transferring information between Airtable bases has been a requested feature for a while. So if you are on the pro plan, if you are the paid customer for Airtable, you can actually use a very, very practical syncing feature in Airtable. If you are still using uh, the free version of Airtable, there is still an option for you and you can use free tools like Integromat that helps you also move the data between the Airtable bases, but uh, with a little bit more setup. You can watch our video uh, right in this link on the right hand side here. But let's get into how we can use the syncing of the bases in Airtable. So we will show you a simple, simple setup that is basically a product list that we want to share with two of our clients. So we have two types of products and some of those products are going only to one of our clients and some of the products, like for example, delivery, can be shared between two or more clients. So you can see that we have all the product marks for each of the clients. And you can see that this is a client database where our client has only access to the products that are relevant to him. So you can see that client one is only seeing the products that belong, belong to him. So how can we create a view like this in our table? So the first feature will be to create a unique view for your client. You can see that this view is being synchronized to the client one and that's exactly what the client is seeing. So how do we create a view like that? So let's start creating something like this for the client too. And you can see here, this is a full list of all the products that we have. So the first thing is we need to create a filter. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a filter and we're gonna select client two only. So this displays all the products that are visible for client two. What we need to do here, we need to create a share view. So I have actually already created a view here. And the next step is basically to copy this link. And when you paste this link, you will see it is basically a, a view. It's a shared view where you can click use this data to add it to your Airtable. It can be added by someone else or it can be added by you. And this displays all the product here. So to add those products for the client too, what we need to do, we need to go to the client too and we need to create a sync table. So we click on create a sync table and then we can either choose this table manually or we can basically enter a shared view link. We will select all the fields and automatically sync all the changes. And we can see that all the information from our client tool has been passed over to, uh, to this view. We notice one thing that actually we don't want this column to be visible. We don't want the client tool know that there is also client one that is using this particular information. So to update this, we need to just go to the view and we are hiding this particular element. And after that, the moment when this table is synced, this view will disappear. The updates are not instantaneous. There is a sync frequency every, every few minutes when those data are being updated, but you can always manually update this now if you need that. What you can also do once you create, a, let's say, a product list for your client, you can use this data in another table, like for example, order list, when you can create a link to that particular table. So you're adding additional linked fields here, which are linking to that sync table and are taking the data from that sync table. So you can add here information and this way you can, for example, create an order list. Once you have that, you actually could also imagine that you could share this link back to the original basis where it came from. So there is no limitation on that. You can basically copy paste. You could go here and you could create a sync table, which will be the orders from the client, uh, client one and create table. And now you can see we are having all the orders that client, uh, client one has placed for our products. All those informations are showing back in our Airtable. We can sync it now, so we will see that. 
this way you can use those shared links to share them between people that are on the same workspace but you can also share this with absolute strangers I hope this is helpful for you and it will help you make your business more productive. Sign up for more videos and please subscribe.